This <laughs> Joker and welcome. And so today we got some Battlefield 6 news. So from our friends here on Reddit, we're in the R Battlefield forum and it says news on Battlefield 6 reveal trailer. So we're going to click this and then we're just going to read what it's about. Let me zoom in so you guys can actually see it a little bit more. All right. And I believe this is from one of the devs. So we'll just go ahead and read it here. It says, we are close to the one year mark since we all began working from home. We've accomplished a lot. We've learned a lot. And these things are now informing our path forward. One of the key learnings over the past year is that it does take more time to make games from home. And we have a balance that we need with team health. The best way to set our teams up for success in this environment is to be focused and ensure our biggest projects have resources they need to deliver for our players. We're making a bold move for our teams to fully capture the opportunity in front of us with Battlefield, while maintaining the same focus on health and well being that we've had since day one. We know our team is going to deliver amazing games for our players and we want to do everything we can in service of this. And yes, we do. We want the best. This better be the absolute best, boy, because there's a ton of us Battlefield uh, uh, players, community, that's, that's, that's like over, we just, we just can't wait. We cannot wait for this game to come out, bro. So let's continue reading. We have an exceptional year ahead of us with our next battlefield. So we thank everyone for coming together with the energy and determination to do something special. We recently seen in the first version of the Revere trailer for Battlefield. Oh, we recently seen the first version of the Revere trailer for Battlefield. And it's shaping up to be a truly amazing first look at this groundbreaking game. I think fans are gonna love it. Well, first of all, every single trailer anybody make, they always say fans are gonna love it. But Guys, this better be, this better be a, a, a out of the park hit, man. Like this, this better be the best thing we've ever seen in a first person. I mean, as long as Battlefield take to make their games, right? They take years to make their game. I'm like Call of Duty. Of course, Call of Duty got different, you know, they got different companies to, to make their game to help with the process. But Battlefield, like, like we've, we've been through Battlefield 5 where there's things that just wasn't all together. And, and as you can see, like it declined a lot faster than it should. You know, it's like more players you'll find on Twitch playing Battlefield 4 than they are Battlefield 5. So um, they, yo, know, I just, I just really, really hope, man, that they do not disappoint us. Um, and they're taking as much time as they possibly can um, to develop this game and to make it the best thing ever for us, man. So uh, let's continue reading here. It says, thanks to all of our hard work, we have strong momentum and can make this move to deliver great battlefield in the fall and maintain our overall organic growth plans for next physical year next year with more than 35 different projects being developed today including many fan favorites it's an exciting time to be part of the team at electronic arts yeah yeah the monopoly so uh Listen, guys, the, the last thing we need is loot boxes, right? I mean, because that's what you expect. Every time you hear EA now, you think loot box, right? Because EA, is, they just money hungry. So if I'm, I'm hoping that Battlefield look at the rest of these other shooting games and and can get some inspiration from them, you know, especially from like Fortnite. Um, and the reason I say that is because the minds behind Fortnite are geniuses, man. The, look how long that game been going on. Um, look at the updates that's been happening. Be look at the customization you can do. Um, you probably can't find anybody in there that look exactly the same as anybody else. Battlefield was stepping into that realm, um, but it's, it's, it's not much you can you can still really do, you know? Um, besides change a, a little bit here, a little bit there. There's half the shit in the clothes section I haven't even unlocked yet. It's like, what the hell? So. Um, I just I just hope if they do plan on um, giving any sort of uh, 
paywalls for anything. I just hope it's really some customizable content that we would be more than happy to just purchase and 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 be able to wear and, and show off what we have um, as far as Battlefield 6 goes. And also guys, I have another article over here and let me see. I have another article right here and we're coming from techradar.com. Props to Tech Radar. And I'm gonna zoom in on here so you guys can see this one. And this one says Battlefield 6, what we want to see. Okay, so right here they have free battle royale mode. Now I don't know about you guys, but I hate battle royale. I, I just I think it's I think it's um it was what it was in the beginning and it's it's sort of off now. You know what I'm saying? I maybe it's just my opinion, but to me, I, I can't stand a game where I have to wait 25 minutes. I didn't did all the damn hard work just to lose it all. You know what I'm saying? By a camper or or some shit like that. Or players that want to separate you from the team or whatever. Anyway, battle royale mode. Okay, they talking about uh, they want a huge, uh, even bigger and better battle royale mode. Um, I just I disagree with that one, but to each his own. Huge battles. Again, it's rumored that this would be the case with 128 player map rumored. Um, we hope this comes to fruition. Uh, Battlefield 32, 32 player maps are great and all, but I do agree. Um, I think 32 um, and 32 is, is old. Um, and I believe with these new consoles that that's out now, I mean, if they can perform up to 8K, they can do all of these things. I really hope Battlefield give us something better than 128. I hope Battlefield give us a crazy experience. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I don't know. 400 but i mean who knows right i mean we, we just hope for the best right so i'm hoping like it's gonna be completely insane on battlefield because it's the name you know what i'm saying it's battlefield that's what you that's what you expect when you go into that type of game is to become fully immersed in some crazy ass battles in which i hope that's the case let's see um cross play that should be a given if, if it comes out without cross play that's gonna be a huge disappointment so um and also apex legends got it a lot of ea games got it so I, I don't think i don't think that's a i think that's a given um plenty of modes at launch that's another thing about battlefield man they somebody back there gotta have some sort of brains to come up with some damn good game modes that like call of duty got these nice game modes somebody back there gotta have some sort of inspiration you got copycat but some sort of inspiration to give to give battlefield to to make it feel you know not the same but better you know what i'm saying or or at least give us some some tests you know that's going on here like they did battlefield 5 um where they gave us those a uh, straight line maps i forgot what it was called i think it was called uh i don't think it was called rush i think it was called um ah, i forgot what it was called but it was all of these maps that, that went completely straight and we everybody loved it and they bought it in to, you know what it in took it out what it in took it out i guess they just wanted to test to see how many people gonna like it but i think that I mean, that could be something that they could do who knows um let me see uh battlefield 5 review one of our biggest issues was there wasn't many game modes at launch which is true including a practice range making a game feel like a bit bare bones yeah that is true i totally agree and it got um dolly uh dolby atmos while you can use dolby atmos with with games that don't support it, it is undeniably better than games that are developed with Atmos in mind. We feel that Adobe Atmos supports for Battlefield 6 and PC and Xbox Series X. I totally agree. Um, I actually purchased Adobe Atmos on the Xbox store um, and it is, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. Um, and I already play with Battlefield and enhanced um sound i know i think it's called war the war sound oh man you can hear every single footstep when you got it on war mode so i do agree with them um for dolby atmos local co-op uh, that's it that's another one playing online is great and all but we would love to have the option to play battlefield offline multiplayer so we can mess around with friends and i agree i, I just hope i want to see more online co-op if anything um that's what I want to see. I want to see online co-op campaign. I want to see online more online co-op missions. I think the missions was pretty cool. Um, I just don't think that they were um, good enough for people to stay and actually do it. Um, you don't really see too many people playing online co-op missions. Everybody playing online actually itself. But I just believe this: if somebody can just come up with something better, just just a little bit better, to make people more immersed into Battlefield and to make it such a better game, man. Um, Cause Battlefield 6 
could be everything we ever wanted. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they just listen to the people, if they actually look and see what's working um, and what's not working. Um, and I believe Battlefield can be the best thing. It could be the best Battlefield we ever played. It could possibly be one of the best first person shooters ever um, if they do it right. And if they do it right the first time. But I don't know, what do you think guys? Tell me down in the comment section below what you think Battlefield 6 should be. What do you think that should be on this list that's not on this list? What would you like to see in Battlefield 6? Um, so yeah, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna holler at you guys later.